clever bookshelves look so much cooler than anything you can buy from a store. Finding creative ways to display books can be just as alluring as any kind of art. This is 25 Awesome DIY Ideas for Bookshelves by Peggy Wang. 1. Floating Bracket Bookshelves 2. Box shelves from Ikea, connected with ordinary office binder clips. 3. The Wall Bookmark Shelf. You could use a bracket or DIY invisible bookshelf instead. It's space-saving and only requires 9 simple instructions to follow. 4. Ladder and Wood Bookshelf. Made with 2 ladders and planks of wood. Or just 1 ladder will do for a smaller bookshelf. 5. Wallpapered Bookshelves. These shelves are crafted from recycled wood, and then they line the bottoms with wallpaper scraps. Such a great idea, especially for a loft area, where shelves can extend high above eye level. If you don't have wallpaper scraps to use, pick out papers and complementary patterns from a place like Paper Source, which even organizes their papers into color palettes, and use Mod Podge or a similar product to decoupage the paper onto the undersides of your shelves. 6. Leather Harness Hanging Bookshelf Available for £89 from Rocket St. George, but you could probably also make this with some leather belts. 7. Hollowed Out TV Bookcase 8. Another ladder bookshelf. Take a ladder apart and hang one side of it on the wall. 9. The Bookend Bookshelf Or this concealed floating shelf collection. 10. Wooden Pallet Bookshelves 11. Another example of a wooden pallet bookshelf. 12. Bookshelf made from an old drawer. You will need a drawer, map, spray adhesive, scissors, tape measure, yardstick, hammer, and sawtooth hangers. 13. Industrial pipe shelving. Make a built-in wall-mounted shelving unit with an industrial chic aesthetic. Designed on site to mount directly to wall studs, the finished shelving unit will perfectly fit the formerly barren space on your wall and will be capable of effortlessly supporting hundreds of pounds in high style. 14. Pipe and wood bookshelf. Directions. 1. Drill holes in the pine planks for the pipe to fit through. 2. Use a 3 quarter inch round drill bit to allow some wiggle room. 3. Clean all the grease off the pipes. Dish soap will do, and spray paint all the pipes black. Then sand and stain the wood. After that, it just all screws together. The hard part was figuring out all the math and prepping everything. The boy and I assembled it ourselves pretty quickly and surprisingly easy, and then secured it to the wall with some screws through the flanges. That thing is solid. 15. Storage Bench Made from pine wood, metal crates, and casters. The great thing about this bench is how versatile it is. Turn it into an entryway bench to corral shoes and use it as extra seating at your next get-together. Use weather-treated wood and use it outside as patio furniture. 16. Rope Bookshelf For more detailed instructions, click the pasted link under this video. This one uses drawer pulls. Step 1. Drill four holes, one in each corner, an offset approximately one inch. Step 2. Measure the distance between the drill holes on the shelf and mark that distance on the wall once you decide on the height of your shelf. Now secure the drawer poles to the wall using drywall anchors and screws. Step 3. Feed the rope through the holes in the shelf closest to the wall and not. Step 4. Run the rope up and over the drawer poles, feed through the front holes, level and not. That's it! Now it's time to accessorize! I made and framed a subway art print and some basic printed images that coordinated with the room's decor. 17. Larger, more industrial hanging rope bookshelves. Total cost to DIY these bookshelves is around $150 or less. 18. Bookshelf from wooden cable spool and IKEA casters. 19. Wine crate wall shelves. More elaborate instructions are provided by designsponge.com. 20. Magazine holder bookshelf. You can get one of these from IKEA. $9.99 for a set of two. Or DIY it yourself. 1. Paint, stain, or decoupage your magazine holder. Or leave it plain. 2. Pre-drill two holes for the screws, and mark your wall where the screws will go, making sure they are level. 3. Mount your box to the wall using washers so the screw heads don't sink too far into the wood. 4. If you've got an outlet nearby, you can even charge your cell phone or iPod by snaking the cord through the hole in the front of the box. 21. Pegboard using colored pencils and string. Not exactly a bookshelf, but books can certainly be incorporated. 22. Hanging fabric shelves. You'll need two curtain rods, two double curtain rod brackets, and some fabric. Instructions. Fold the fabric lengthwise with right sides facing so you are working with a double thickness rectangle that is 47 inches by 21 inches. Using a half inch seam, sew the fabric together around one of the short sides, the long side and about halfway down the other short side. Turn the fabric right side out 
through the opening, poking at the corners with a turning tool. A pencil will do, just don't poke all the way through. Sew the opening shut by folding the raw edges toward each other, then top stitching down that short end of the rectangle. Now, you'll need to sew castings for the dowels on the two long ends of the rectangle. Working with one set at a time, fold the long end over so it overlaps by two inches. Pin, then stitch all the way down the length of the fabric. Repeat on the other side. It's time to hang the hardware on the wall. Locate two studs 47 inches apart on the wall where you want to hang the book holder. Using a level, mark the locations where you'll need to drill lightly with a pencil, then drill the holes for the screws. Screw the brackets onto the wall. Hang the fabric on the dowels, then insert the dowels into the brackets. The brackets should come with tiny screws that tighten onto the dowels, holding them in place. Load with books. If you screwed the hardware into studs, your book holder should be able to handle a good amount of weight, but don't go too crazy. Update. Make the sling reversible. Sew a pocket on the front for holding little treasures or applique an animal shape, alphabet letter, etc. Twenty-three, instant bookshelves with IKEA. IKEA spice racks nailed to the sides of a dresser make instant display bookshelves. Twenty-four, stacked antique benches, and twenty-five, stained plywood book display case. Just glue some birch plywood together and stain. Glad to see you're still watching this video. Before it ends, spend your valuable time to like or share this video with your family or friends. Come back next time with more creative ideas and press the subscribe button if you want to play our next video in your email. Thanks for watching.